children are not interested in the business, find a young African American who is, because they're out there. They are out there. There are young African Americans who are interested in your business. And sit with an advisor who can structure a deal that, that allows that young African American to buy in over time and make your kids whole. There are ways that that can be done. So always look at that as an option. Option B, if your kids aren't interested, trust me, if your kids aren't passionate about your business, don't pass it on to them. You became successful because you were passionate. You are better off passing on to another African American, young African American who's passionate about your profession than your kids who don't have that passion. And there are ways to structure those deals to make it work, to make it a win-win for everybody. So that's the first thing I'll say. The second thing, for anyone who owns a business, your first priority is to make sure you do a, a financial analysis to see if you can have enough money to retire. You gotta figure out what your retirement goals are first, what your needs are, then back into what you can sell the business for. Because if, the, if your needs aren't met, guess what's gonna happen 10 years down the road? You're coming back in there pushing mom, you're pushing son and daughter out the door. You're like, hey, look, we out of money, and you know, mom and me and mom gotta live, and you know, you gotta go <laughs> find a job somewhere. Uh, and that's, that's reality. You've got to do that analysis first and figure out what it's going to take to make you whole so that you can move out of the way and allow your children to come in and run the business or structure a deal so that over time your children provide you an income stream. And that takes a lot of trust. I mean, that's, that's beyond speed to trust, to go out there in retirement and, and, and hope that your kids are, are going to continue to provide you an income stream. That's a tough one, a tough one to do. But you've got to focus on your retirement first. And once you've got that in place, once you know that, what that dollar figure is, that bogey is, it is very easy to back into everything else that you want to accomplish from a succession planning standpoint.